boy. Oh, oh. oh, I knew you still had it in you. I knew, I knew, I, I, I was praying. I was praying every every day on the flash altar. I was praying. I was like, please, please don't let this show go out like this. Like you gave us that weak Batwoman arc at the beginning of this season that made no sense connectively in any way, shape or form. Then you had like three episodes of filler. Then you gave me something good last week with with uh, with uh, Stephen Amell return slash send off. And I was like, maybe there's hope. Maybe there's hope, you know, maybe there's hope. But but I'll tell you one thing right now. I turned into Mike Lowry. I don't know if you've ever seen Bad Boys 2, but there's a scene in Bad Boys 2 where he's like, uh, uh, um, um, that's how you shoot. From now on, that's how you shoot. That's how you write. From now on, this how you write. It, the rest of the season's writing better be as good as this. It better be, better be as good as this. This Boy, I ain't never been this hyped for an episode in I don't know how long. Like, did I enjoy last week's episode? Absolutely. But when I'm talking about hype, I'm talking about sitting down in my chair to watch The Flash and not getting up until the credits roll and that bitch said to be continued. It has been so long. Cause usually when I watch a Flash episode, I'm like, pause, be back in like an hour pause be back in like 15 minutes no no this episode from start to finish good good make the rest of the season finale like this right here first off bringing back eddie we've been talking about this <laughs> We've been low-key talking about this, I feel like, since the end of season one, where we wanted to see Cobalt Blue. Knowing now that he's just been out there, and I don't even think the place that he's been is real. Because you have to remember that the Speed Force was destroyed, the negative Speed Force was kind of still there, and then the universe itself was destroyed. If it is an Earth 2, which I don't feel like it is, I feel like he's in a speed force construct. Like the negative speed force has just kind of tucked him away somewhere where he's basically living out this, this fake life. I'm hoping that that's the case because at the exact same time, I'm 100% okay with him like when he shot himself disappearing and then just rematerializing in like another universe somewhere living his life over there. But yo, Having the negative speed force have this level of beef. Bringing back Mac, Matt Letcher. Yo, I have said this multiple times. I do not mind Tom Cavanaugh as the reverse flash. However, Matt is something special. And in my opinion, he does reverse flash better. Matt's reverse flash in my opinion, is the closest version we'll ever get to the comic book slash uh, um, uh, animated movies reverse flash, where you can feel the hurt inside of his character. Like his character was fundamentally betrayed by a person that he absolutely fucking loved. And I love that. I love the fact that he finds the flash in the year 2000 when Barry gets sucked into the past and he buys him a beer and it's basically a talk between two people who absolutely hate each other but two people who understand the fundamental laws of the universe and know that there's nothing the other can do to stop their plan flash can't intervene otherwise he create another flashpoint and mess up the universe and and he basically knows that the flash can't intervene because he's whittled this down to the most the, 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 the finest of details. He knows what exactly it's going to take, what exactly is going to happen. And he is dedicated in executing that plan. Warnings be damned. But where I thought we were only going to get one good scene with them, which is that scene where they're both sitting at the diner, they ended up giving me two more. Having him and Barry talk, like before, he goes to kill young Barry, but he ends up killing Nora, of course. But having Barry like try to have that, he don't try to hit him with the talk no jutsu, where he's like, look, I've seen you ending. It ain't good. You can choose to be the better man 
and be something you could be the version of me that you always wanted to be like you could go off and live the life that you always wanted to live but if you go down this path you're stuck and i've seen your end and it doesn't end well for you and i'm gonna try and save you that's the barry allen that i love where even though he knows that reverse flash is gonna go basically screw himself and and wreck absolutely fucking everything destroy his life he still stops and tries to save eobard one last time and eobard doesn't listen he shoots off so barry gives chase he gives him the fight that he's looking for perfect using the uh the 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 images from season one just like i did in my fan made thing where younger barry from season one opens up the door and we see our bear now that version of barry now we know that that version of barry isn't another barry from like a, a different deleted timeline he's basically our barry we just saw a brief glimpse of a fight that he's basically been having with an enemy that he doesn't know exists yet and them zooming off and then barry closing the door returning back to his season one fight where basically eddie's gonna end up killing himself but then you hit us with a third scene where it's barry and eobard and barry's like look bruh for 25 years i was struggling like that was the most traumatic night of my life but you know what tonight thank you i'm telling you right now <laughs> barry told him that thank you because he's a genuinely nice guy but eobard thon took that as the ultimate slap in the face the ultimate level of disrespect and it is in this moment where barry tells him thank you that his hatred for barry allen is 100 percent solidified and he's like i'm finna be your mentor and fuck your world up <laughs> like barry disappears in a huff he just vanishes in like that ball of blue energy and eobard is left there in the past and he is like where is harrison wells because i'm finna go kill that man i'm about to control every single aspect of barry allen's life down to the the the, the t and and get my ultimate revenge love it love the fact that his character is now off on basically the loop that he is stuck on and he will never be able to escape it because he decided to go through with killing Nora allen he is now stuck on the loop at the beginning of season one leading to his death at the end of armageddon no it wasn't at the end of armageddon he dies at the end of last season when he becomes the negative speed force avatar fucking love it having the negative speed force crash through the 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 window the same way that the speed force hit barry allen and turned him into the flash knocking him back into all that blue substance that was on the wall and then the negative speed force has to be like the biggest op because it could have just gave him the powers and then kind of showed up like an avatar but it's like i'm gonna give you the powers of the flash and then you know i'm gonna slide you i'm gonna slide you your file so that you can see that like he killed you <laughs> that him over there that guy in the red he's the reason why you died and you're here and it's time for you to go out there and get your revenge because i do declare it is time for a flash war i love it i absolutely love it i love all the stuff that had to do with him uh um, meeting his his parents again john wesley ship back of course um the the actress who plays Nora, uh, Nora Allen, um, she's basically been on the show for on and off since like season one. Like she's always been popping up in a cameo in some way, shape, or form as either the Speed Force or as something else. Loved her in this. Uh, it's fantastic watching Barry basically interact with both of his parents, them not knowing that they are his parents, but then also giving him the love and attention that he essentially deserved. I like that. Uh, I don't know whether or not the speed force, the negative speed force is stuck inside of that blue crystal or if the blue crystal is just a harbinger of cobalt blue sending them through the timeline to basically infect people that are close to Barry Allen so that he can try and kill him. Who knows? But I'm 100% here for it. This is the first time I think in a long time that I'm super excited to basically wake up and go watch The Flash <laughs> when a new episode comes out uh yeah go ahead like 
Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think about this episode of The Flash. I absolutely fucking loved it, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace.